করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কর্মহীন বেকার হয়ে ঘরে বসে থাকব না ছবি আঁকবো না বিত্তহীন নিঃস্ব বলে স্বপ্ন হারাবো না আমরা হতাশ হব না এই কথাটা মনে রেখো ইচ্ছা থাকলে উপায় হয় দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি What happened, Sokhina Bubu? Why is your son crying? What happened, little friend? Why are you crying? What do I say, sister? He wants to go to school. Why don't you enroll him to school? How will he get educated if he doesn't go to the school? But don't we need money to send him to school? No, no. You don't need money to send your son to school. Books and copies are free. How can he go to the school wearing this torn shirt? We can't even afford two meals a day. Don't I have a dream to send my son to school? Don't I want him to be brought up well? <laughs> Listen, don't cry. You have a way out to survive. Yes, no crying. This sister has a book of magic. She will coach you the magic spell to survive. No, no. Magic doesn't do the trick. You have to work. But I don't have a job. I don't know anything else other than working as a day laborer. Sitting at home waiting for people to help won't solve your problems. You have to work. If you don't know a word, then learn it. Don't you have some land property? What are you saying? We only have five katha land. We can't do anything with it. Yes, you could. You can do a lot of things there. Cultivate flower on that land and not a bush. Quiet, Shadamia. You are always bossing around. Although, Shadamia did say the right thing. You can earn handsome income by cultivating flowers on that land. Can our poverty be offset by that activity? You need to try it first. How can one make money by cultivating flowers? Who buys flowers? You're right, you're right. People neither eat flowers nor do they wear it. But the money they get by selling these flowers is enough to buy food and clothes. And what purposes require flowers? Remember 10 years back when we dressed you up with flowers for your wedding? And the other day when you pinned a rose to your hair while going to the fair with your brother-in-law, right? Oh, stop teasing me. I feel shy. Well, nowadays a huge amount of flowers are used every day to celebrate events like weddings, meetings, decorating a house, and many other occasions. Yes, yes. Like when boys and girls lock in a love affair. Shadamia, please be quiet. Sokhina, there will be no lack of customers to buy flowers. You can earn a profit of 35 to 40,000 when you cultivate flowers on a five cut land. Really? What are you saying? I can't believe it. It might be hard to believe when you hear it, but trust me, when you do the job on your own and earn the money, you will believe me. To cultivate flowers, you need some fixed materials. They are 4 inch pipes, 4 to 5 horsepower, sallow machine, spray machine, spade, plow, sickle, crowbar, scythe, medium sized daggers, small knife, weeding spade, and a hose, etc. Apart from these, you'd also need some regular materials such as basket, box, rope, cardboard box, newspaper, fertilizers, and insecticides. 
These materials are available in the town hardware stores, the local and the makeshift bazaars. Tube rose is used in most ceremonials. Both the cultivation cost and risk of cultivating tube rose is low. So, the cultivation of this flower is highly profitable. You can collect both the seeds and the tubers from a good nursery. Mid-sized tubers are sold at a price of 1,000 taka per 1,000 bees. On that account, 5,000 tubers is needed to cultivate tube rose on a piece of 5 kata land. There are two species of tube rose that are usually seen. For example, they are single and double petal tube roses. Now, I will let you know the details of cultivating tube rose, choosing land and bed preparation. Tube rose is better cultivated on the loamy clay or poly loamy soil. Wet the soil of the land before cultivating the tube rose flowers. Keep the soil grainy and dry by spading the land. Level the soil with ladder and prepare the bed at least 2 inches high from the land. Sowing the seeds or the tubers. Tube rose seeds or the tubers have to be implanted on the soil around February to April months. But you can sow them during the rainy season or during May or June. Guidelines for sowing the seeds or tubers. You have to draw lines at a distance of one and a half feet from one another. Pressing down a plow or a cobra's angle. Keep a row blank every four rows. Beds can be both horizontal and vertical. Wet the mid-sized seeds, tubers, sinking in 4% diarrhea solution for 30 minutes. If you do this, the seedlings would sprout quickly from the tubers and the flowers will bloom early. Now, plant the tubers following the line at a gap of 5 inches from one another. Please be sure that the tubers are planted 2 inches deep under the soil. You have to sort out the bigger 1 inch sized tubes. The tubers may have to be dried by keeping them in a shady place for a month. After that, they have to be implanted on the soil. You have to be careful that the soil does not remain wet before the seedlings are sprouting out from the tubers. The tubers could rot if the soil on the bed is wet. It is better not to sow the smaller tubers. That's because if you do that, the seeds will take time to sprout out and the plant's health won't be good. That's usually the reason why less numbers of flowers are usually produced. Irrigation of the land and weed control Irrigate the land after the plantation of the tubers have been completed. Irrigate the land in a fashion so that the entire soil on the land gets wet. But be careful so that water does not clog anywhere on the bed. That's because if the bed is clogged by water, then the tubers may rot while they are sprouting. The seedlings would spring out after 20 days of implanting. Loosen the soil around the root with the help of a small spud when the seedlings are one month old. If there is grass or other weeds growing on the bed, then uproot them all. Re-irrigate the land when the plants get two months old. Put some soil around the roots of the plants if the soil gets dry. Some of the plants will have flowers by the time they are three months old. Re-irrigate the land again when the plants have flowers bloomed. It is enough to irrigate the land once a week during the summer and once a month during the winter. Application of fertilizer. Now prepare a mixture of 1.5 kg of urea, 3.5 kg of superphosphate, and 3.5 kg of potash all together. Then spread out the mixture at the roots of all the sprouted seedlings. Apply 500 grams of potash parkata after 25 days. Apply 500 grams of urea and potash parkata when the seedlings are 60 days old. Apply a mixture of 700 grams of potash, 25 kg of crushed mustard oil cakes and soil after 130 days. When the flower is ready to bloom, spread out a mixture of urea, TSP and MOP fertilizers or the dap on the land. Flower production will increase if you do so. All plants will have flowers in between 4 to 5 months. Apply zinc fertilizer after all the plants have blossomed. Following these would make the flowers bigger and more attractive. Giving a brief pause for a few days, apply 325 grams of urea parkata during the 6th, 7th and 8th months. 
Remedies from plant diseases and pest attack. Rotting of the roots of the tuberose plants occurs when water clogs the plants or fungus attack. If and when that happens, you have to pour down a mixture of a liter of water and 4 grams copper oxychloride at the roots of the plants. Apart from that, you have to spread out a mixture of urea, superphosphate and potash at the roots of the plants. What more you can do is that you can apply copper oxychloride 2-3 to three times after a 15 day interval. Falling down of the flowers from the flower spike occurs when the land lacks phosphorus in the soil. You have to apply TSP fertilizer on the land to cure this disease. Flower collection. If you plant tubers during the first week of April, you'd start getting flowers by August. One can get flowers for three consecutive years if they plant tubers on a land just once. To get flowers all around the year, uproot 20% plants from the land after two years. Then, replant them on another piece of land. You have to uproot all the plants on the old land after three years. Flowers from the garden should be collected in the afternoon. And you have to arrange the flowers in a basket or crate. You have to tie a bundle of 50 flowers all together and make a bunch of flowers. Then wrap the top of the bundles with used newspaper. Take the tube roses to the local bazaar in baskets or crates to sell. If you want to send the flowers off to a faraway place, it is better to wrap the bundles of flowers with a gunny bag and tie that sack carefully. Preservation of flowers After the tube roses are plucked from the plants, no extra measures are needed to preserve them. Tube roses can be sent to the market for sales without applying any medicine. The plucked up flowers have to be kept at a shady place in the house if all the flowers were not sold off in the bazaar on the day they were plucked. The lower bottom of the stems and the sticks of the unsold tube roses have to be kept immersed in water. It is possible to get a profit of about 39,000 taka a year by cultivating tube rose on a 5 kata land. We will now see how that is done. I have a question to ask sister. Should I only cultivate tube roses? No, no. Why should you cultivate only tube roses? You can cultivate many other flowers, but you have to study which flowers people usually buy spending their money and which variety of flowers will grow well in which type of land. You can also cultivate roses and marigolds on your land. Can't we cultivate arum flower as well? Do people buy arum flowers spending their cash? I made a mistake. I don't know anything about it, I swear. We could dress Shabamiya and his bride with arum flowers on their wedding. But. You didn't teach me how roses and marigolds can be cultivated. Cultivation process of all the flowers is almost the same. Shadamia, you and your big mouth. Listen, marigolds should be cultivated twice a year with four months interval. You can cultivate marigolds by either producing the seedlings after sowing the seeds or by simply planting their branches. And you all know regarding the cultivation of roses. Rose plants are grown from their branches. You can get flowers for 4 to 5 years consecutively if you plant the rose tree just once. To know the details of other flower cultivation, you have to read the booklet Flower Gardening. Dear Sister Sakina, are you well? Am I well? I am very, very well. I have earned a profit of 39,000 taka from the tuberose garden. So, Shakina sister, what did you cook today? I have cooked Hilsha fish. Well then, I am a guest at your house today. Congratulations, Akina. You really have gotten rich by cultivating flowers. Multicolored pretty flowers cultivate you around. Bring profit to our family, no poverty around.